everybody, this is the Game Hunter channel, another episode of Clash Royale, and in this episode, well, we're gonna talk about the new balance changes that are coming. I'm really, really excited. Offense over defense one more time, and that is so, so, so important in the game, because I think I mentioned this in a previous episode, but once that you reach Arena 7, you're gonna see a lot of defensive players, all right? A lot of people were complaining, even some other YouTubers, because, like I said, when you get to that point, you're just gonna start fighting against people with tons of Tesla towers, cannons, uh, uh, expos, mortars, uh, and actually I come across a couple of players that they don't even have one unit on their deck, and that sucks. <laughs> Let's be honest, that sucks because that means that the player is gonna be completely defensive and just use the rocket to destroy the opponent's tower. Which, okay, well, you know what? It's, it's strategy, but. Suck strategy, okay? <laughs> That's like a no skill strategy. So, new patch is coming. So, let's go into a couple of battles. I'm going to show you some high level battles that I've been uh, fighting lately in the Royal Arena. And in the meantime, we're going to talk about these new balance changes. You guys are ready? Let's roll. Okay, here we go. So, let's see. First of all, Expo. Expo range decrease to 12 from 13. I like that. A lot, okay? I'm probably in one of these uh, replays. You guys are gonna see one player that is pretty much using only defensive buildings. Like I say, it's, it doesn't really require a strategy. It's just start putting some Tesla towers, some Expos, some probably mortars and cannons, and that will do it. And, and again, that's I'm glad the fact that they decide to come out with these balance changes because they're, in, they're really important for us, right? Because we don't want to have to fight only... We don't want to fight only defensive players, right? Because that's not the point. It's gonna... The game can lose a lot of value if they're just uh, promoting defense, right? And with all these changes, things are gonna get a lot more entertaining. So, Expo, range decrease. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tesla, hmm. Hit speed decrease to 0.8. Eight seconds from 0 0.7 lifetime decrease to 40 seconds from 60 seconds another interesting car uh, that is gonna suffer a change Tesla tower is probably my favorite tower defensive tower I don't use it that much I try not to use defensive cards to be quite honest I try to use and play with the uh, new cards for example in this battle you guys can see I'm using the witch and actually that's really entertaining and actually really smart because the witch is gonna increase the damage in 5% so probably it's a good time to revive her I don't know just call me crazy but I believe it's a good idea let's continue so Tesla Tesla tower okay I agree with this one I agree with this one the hit speed decrease and also the the lifetime decrease in seconds 20 seconds that's a lot but again it, it, it is one of those towers that is extremely extremely powerful uh, that's the one that I always recommend to the my clan members if they ask me which tower should I get or which tower should I probably upgrade I always say the Tesla uh, it's not as annoying as the Expo uh, but still it's really good on defense right especially when you trying to protect yourself against a hot rider or troops like that right the tesla towers are extremely 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 useful uh what else cannon another defensive building life can decrease to 30 seconds from 40 seconds again i like it the cannon the cannon and i did already a spotlight episode like a couple days ago right the cannon is such a useful defensive building because with only three leaks you can have a well, I can, of course. <laughs> they can bring down a bunch of barbarians and even some, I don't know, golems and uh, pekas. It's, it's, it's tricky. It's one of those really tricky and powerful defensive buildings. So I'm, I also like the fact that they decrease the lifetime from 30 seconds to 40 seconds, right? Um, let's go for another battle before continue talking about this new patch. All right. So the princess hit point decreased by 10%. Okay, uh, all right. I, I think the princess was already weak <laughs> because you can bring her down with a fireball, uh, even with arrows. So I'm not really sure if the hit points uh, decrease is gonna make any big change. I don't know. Whatever. We, we'll find out that the ice wizard 
damage increased by 5%. That's actually cool. That's actually cool because I noticed that the Ice Wizard, I, was, I had the Ice Wizard in one of my accounts. In the other account, I got the Princess. Uh, and the one that I've been using the Wizard lately, the Ice Wizard, I noticed in that little detail that, okay, it's useful because you slow down your opponent, but the damage was really, really bad. I mean, the damage wasn't that great. So an increase in 5% is, is actually really good. By the way, this battle is kind of epic. I'm fighting with uh, against a uh, level 10 player with some high level cards. And well, you, you can see the rest later. All right, the Prince charge speed decreased by 13%. And Dark Prince charge speed also decreased by 30%. Both Princes are getting the charge speed decreased by 30%. Okay, I like it. So it makes sense. It makes sense. It's a, it's a card that I've been... been Actually, the combo, the Dark Prince and the Prince together is a card, is a combo that I've been watching a lot lately in a royal arena. A lot. So, decreasing the speed of the charge, I think it's good. Valkyrie, finally, hit points and damage increased by 10%. The Valkyries are back. <laughs> Super excited. That's actually some really, really good news because the Valkyrie is making a, an upgrade in Clash of Clans and also is getting. Uh, a little a little buff also in Clash Royale, I like it, probably we're gonna start seeing Valkyries one more time. Royal Giant, this is super important, damage increased by 20%, that is huge, 20% fellas. Finally we're gonna start playing with the Royal Giant. <laughs> I, got, I got so many cards with the Royal Giant and I haven't upgraded the Royal Giant at all because it's not my favorite one. But if you increase the damage in 20%, it's definitely worth it. Uh, giant, regular Giant, damage increased by 5%. Good one, good one. I can see a combo coming. Giant and Witch together. He's back, fellas. He's back. We got Rage. Gets 40% movement speed and attack speed boost from 35%. The duration decreased by 20%. I like it. Too. I like it. Really good um, boost or buff of the Rage spell. Poison damage increased by 5%. Interesting. I really thought that they're gonna decrease the poison power. But if they increase the poison power, I definitely need to start using the poison from now on because it's definitely one of those really cool cards and really useful, right? If you can, the aerial effect is so big. If you can do damage to troops and towers at the same time, it's a no brainer. We also got the Miro, legendary cards. Miro it one level lower. I like that because I saw a lot of decks using the Miro of the Princess and it's quite annoying. I'm I really like the fact that now the, the new legendaries are coming with one level lower, right? Three Musketeers! Three Musketeers! Those decrease to 9 from 10. Wow, okay, that's actually important because it's something that we were talking about in previous episode. Why the card is so not useful at all is because of the cost in Elixir, but now we only 9. Maybe, maybe it's going to be a lot more useful. We got also the Archers. Quicker initial attack, like in Britney Spears, and that is important because Britney Spears were completely stolen the, the spotlight, right? And now that the archers can start attacking quicker, awesome. Balloon hit points increased by 5%, I like it, and I was mentioning before, which damage increased by 5%. Witch and Giant is coming back! Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Clash Royale. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.